What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. So today I've got a very quick video for you guys on an air conditioner issue that we've got here. The remote is missing. Now whether your remote is damaged, not working, it's missing, easy fix guys is to get out there and get a universal remote rather than getting the original remote trying to get in contact with the manufacturer or in this case here it's actually a pretty old unit what you need to do is get a universal remote now when you get a universal remote just because it says universal doesn't mean it's going to work for every single make or every model in this case here we've got a pretty old unit this one here was built prior to 2004 which means we had to get a specific remote for that one there so if we have a look what you need to do is locate the model number on the actual unit so in this case here we know it's a Mitsubishi and on the side if we have a look we've got a bit of information here but it'll say indoor unit and outdoor unit what we're looking for is the indoor unit um, hopefully you guys can see there but what we need to find is the model number also on this old unit here a lot of the newer units don't have this but we've got a little tab that we can open up and the model number is actually in there so once you've got your model number you jump on Amazon jump on eBay type in that number and type in air conditioner remote you'll find yourself a universal remote as I've done just like this one here now this one here does say universal remote on the bottom however this remote is only compatible with units that are older than 2004 so in this case this model here is built uh, prior to 2004 and that is the remote that we need so once you've got that all you need to do these things here are only like five ten dollars are very cheap don't even bother going out to try and find the original remote um, or a genuine remote universal one's going to work just as well and if you change air conditioners at a later point you might actually be able to operate it with this one here as well so with this one here all we need is two AAA batteries and I'll show you guys how to do it so just open up the remote the battery compartment's either going to be on the back or it's going to be on the front in this case here it's on the front but it's underneath this little slide out cover so if you pull that out completely get two AAA batteries most of the time they're AAA batteries these days and that turns on straight away so we'll return our little cover here if we're lucky we can turn this on and it will automatically pair up with the um, air conditioner however if it doesn't work what you need to do in that case is keep your finger on the on and off button and just hold it there for about five to ten seconds until you hear a beep from the air conditioner unit itself so let's test it out and see just how lucky we are we might not need to pair it in this case here okay so you can see there that it's actually not working so the remote itself is turning on and off but the actual unit itself isn't paired up yet so what we're going to do we'll turn this one here off you can see there the little black sensor we just hold the remote up towards there and keep our finger on the on, on button keep holding that until we hear a beep we'll just keep holding on see what happens So while we're waiting for this, you might as well like, comment and subscribe guys. I've got plenty of DIY how-to videos always in coming up usually every couple of days and there we go. So even the air conditioner agrees with me. So now you can go through all your little functions and features, make sure everything's working as it should. You might have a few features on here that you previously didn't have or is not compatible with your air conditioner and that's because this one here is a universal remote and it might be used for a different air conditioner. So all we have to do now is simply turn it off and we're ready to go. As always guys, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's How To.